Hey, it's Jacob. How's it going? Um, okay, today I'm going to show you some basic text effects, including a glossy look and a stroke on your text. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is select your text tool, a font, and the size that you would like, and click anywhere. Don't click and drag. That can just that'll just limit it to whatever it is, and that messes it all up. You see all the stuff I'm texting down here, and nothing's going here. You have to expand it, and it's very annoying. So just be sure to click once so okay click and then type something I'm going to move this kinda of centered alright um, right now it's black and white so we're gonna make that a little bit more exciting we're gonna change this color to a dark blue and we'll change the background to an orange right now I'm going to hit control comma and that'll take whatever is the foreground color and fill the background with it okay so here's our basic text right here next thing we're gonna do is add the stroke okay so first thing that involves the stroke is making sure you're on your text layer go to layer transparency alpha to selection and that selects whatever is on your text or whatever is on your layer right now it's just the text so that's all it's selected I'm going to create a new layer transparency and I'm going to move it below my text layer then I'm going to go to select grow and I'll go to pixels five pixels so now my selection is grown by five pixels in every direction next you want to hit edit and then fill with background color because that's white so there's our basic stroke I'm going to do select none okay the next thing you want to do is add the glossy effect we're going to create a new layer make sure it's on top of your text this time I'm going to use the ellipse tool and have the aspect ratio checked and set to 3 to 1 okay so now I'm going to make a selection and after you've selected you can just click in the middle somewhere and move it around to wherever you want okay so once I've made that then I'll do edit fill with background color and now we have this white ellipse I'm gonna go to select none alright this is looking pretty crazy right here so what we're gonna do is lower the opacity down to about 50 on this layer and for, well, back on this text layer we're going to go to layer transparency alpha to selection and that selects again it selects our text then we're going to be on this layer go to select invert now to select everything that wasn't selected before which is all this extra circle that we don't really want and then edit cut okay so there is our basic glossy look um, I'll just add one more thing above the background layer, create a new layer make sure watch your foreground and with the blend tool move the gradient to foreground to transparency and shape to radial okay so I will add a gradient kinda just like right here I, I want it a little bit bigger than that maybe too big uh, there we go and I'm gonna change this layer mode to something like overlay and there you go there's a basic text effect that includes glossing glossiness if that's a word and stroke 